Can you always trust what ChatGPT is writing for you, especially if you write on some delicate topics where you need facts? Let's find it out. Welcome to Digital Toolcase. Writing correct information when you publish something is important. If you write a blog post or if you write an essay or if you do a YouTube video, so fact checking is important. And today I want to test ChatGPT on four different topics. The ingredients are ChatGPT, AtomicTopics.com free fact checker and even Perplexity.ai. So let's start with the first topic, but before, click on the like button, it's free. Maybe you want to write something about uh, health. As you know, health is a delicate topic, you always need to fact check what AI is writing. I found ChatGPT quite good on this, I think they trained the model uh, pretty well on health topics. Anyway, I asked the chat GPT, please write about hypertension and provide some data to support it. And here I have my output, as you can see. Now, let's try to fact check, for example, this fact. In 2019, an estimated 1.13 billion people had hypertension, with the majority living in a low and middle income countries. Let's try to use this fact. Let's copy it here inside Atomic Topics and let's do our fact checking. The fact checker says factually accurate, hypertension affects more than 30% of the adult population worldwide, more than 1 billion people around the world, 1.13 billion people have hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. We can also check really quickly with the perplexity and as you can see it's confirming this fact but I always suggest to check even what perplexity is saying because I found that sometimes facts are not really on point. Now let's try another fact according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention approximately 45% of adults have hypertension. Let's go again here in the fact checker and let's try this one. Factually accurate, as you can see, even this fact is correct, you also have some little detail more here. So I suggest you to always do this kind of fact checking because you may find here in these answers some little more details that can make your content even better. Again, let's try with the perplexity and again it's saying the same thing. Now, next topic, I asked ChatGPT, now please write about email marketing and provide some data to support it. And here we have some data from ChatGPT. Let's try this fact. According to Statista, the number of email users worldwide is expected to reach 4.6 billion by 2025. So let's try to fact check with Atomic Topics. And it's saying factually accurate according to Statista and so on. Again, it's giving me some more details, really interesting. And again, ChatGPT wrote something correct here. But I want to point out this, for example. According to a study by GetResponse, automated emails have a 119 higher click-through rate than non-automated emails. Is this fact real or not? Let's find it out here in Atomic Topics, for example. And now it's saying factually inaccurate. The web search results do not mention a specific study by GetResponse that states automated email have a 119 higher click-through rate than non-automated emails. Usually when I found a factually inaccurate thing, I check on perplexity. So I searched in perplexity and as you can see, it's saying, yes, a study on email marketing by GetResponse exists. 
The study identified the best times and days for different locations to send emails. I was not satisfied, so I asked, is this statement true? According to a study by GetResponse, automated emails have a 119 higher click-through rate and so on. No sources found. Try a more general question. And if you open this source, get response, and you read this entire article, you will not find anything supporting that claim. As you can see by searching 119, there is nothing in this article. So this time, this fact by ChatGPT was not correct. This is why you always need to fact check when you find percentages or dates or some data like this. Again, let's try this one. According to Campaign Monitor, the average cost of email marketing is 0.1 to 0.3 dollars per email sent. Factually inaccurate, the web search results do not mention any specific costs associated with email marketing. Again, I asked to perplexity, and here he's saying yes. According to Campaign Monitor Email Marketing Benchmark Report, and it's giving me a source, the average cost of email marketing is 0.1 to 0.3 per email sent. But if I open these sources, you can't find anything about it. As you can see, if I try to search a 0.3, the only data I have is for unsubscribe rates. I don't have anything about uh, uh, this statement, the cost of email marketing, both in this article and in this other source, again from Campaign Monitor. There is nothing supporting it. It's saying uh, this is down 0.3% from 2020. It's completely different than this statement. The Atomic Topics fact checker says inaccurate, while Perplexity says it's true, but perplexity is wrong because perplexity gives me two sources, but this fact is not there. Now let's try with another topic. I asked about Elon Musk's career, provide some dates and other important data. It seems that uh, ChatGPT is well aware of Elon Musk and knows everything because I checked all these facts and these are all real. Let's just try this one. For example, PayPal was sold to eBay for 1.5 billion in 2002 and Musk received 165 million from the sale. It's factually accurate as you can see and I can say you all these facts are uh, correct. So uh, ChatGPT knows uh, perfectly about Elon Musk uh, because as you can see here in 2015 Musk found did open AI not uh, alone but uh, the fact is correct uh, if you do some fact checking you will find uh, some more details and now let's try this one this is interesting please write about bodybuilding case studies and provide some statistics and other important data let's start with this first case study uh, the Colorado experiment uh, let's try uh, this uh, fact. The Colorado experiment in 1973, it's talking about a bodybuilder, Casey Viator, participated in a 28-day muscle building experiment. Let's wait a few seconds. Factually accurate. As you can see, it's giving me some details and all the information. I also tried with the perplexity and uh, even here it's saying that this case study really exists. But uh, let's try another one. This one, for example, case study the bodybuilder with acromegaly. I hope it's correct. Uh, in one case study, a bodybuilder with acromegaly was found to have extremely high levels of IGF-1. Factually inaccurate. The text does not mention anything about the bodybuilder having extremely high levels of uh, IGF-1. So let's try to ask uh, perplexity. 
As you can see, studies have shown that patients with acromegaly have elevated IGF-1 levels. If you read these sources, you can in fact read about this, but no bodybuilders are mentioned. So in this case, it seems that uh, ChatGPT is uh, using a correct fact, uh, but uh, with uh, the angle of uh, bodybuilders, even if uh, the real uh, study, the real case study was not about uh, bodybuilder and this specific name does not exist. I think it's enough. Uh, it was just to show you how you can fact check what ChatGPT or other AI tools are writing. You always need to do it because uh, sometimes the facts are good and again i found chat gpt pretty good at facts uh, way better than it was uh, some weeks ago and way better than uh, how gpt3 was uh, but uh, it's not perfect sometimes uh, some uh, facts are made up are inaccurate so uh, my suggestion is to always fact check you have this uh, free fact checker atomictopics.com you can find the link to reach directly this page in the description or you can also use perplexity but as i showed you sometimes perplexity is not really on point i really hope this video was helpful if so click on the like button subscribe to my channel i like to do these experiments and i will do even more in the future thank you very much have a good day and see you soon in another video